A lot of women say um, their moms didn't teach them how to cook, you know, and they don't know how to cook because their mom didn't teach them how to cook. She said, but your mom didn't teach you how to suck dick either, but you know but how to suck dick. But she still found a way to <laughs> So if you really want to know how to cook, especially nowadays in the information age, the internet, shit, there are step-by-step tutorials on YouTube. That's true. At your big age of 20, whatever, or 30, whatever, you would know how to cook. That's true. So that no longer is an excuse. If a woman at our big age doesn't know how to cook, yeah. she just don't want to. And I would assume, me personally, she's just not a nurturing individual. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah. Okay, so you asked me a question. <laughs> I wanted you to get, get, get all of them off. What do you think, if men changed, would solve this gender war? Ooh, um, if men could be men again. What does that mean to you? Because back then, grandma didn't have a say, and she was getting beat all the time. And yeah, no, she see, was that in. part is not cool, though. She, she didn't have to get beat. But... Grandma would get beat, man. Um, if men could be men... There's some men out here that don't know how to change a tire. Don't know how to change a light bulb. Don't own a hammer. Don't own a wrench. And I feel like, as women... I don't know. I'm a traditionalist, right? So I think that... Oh, they're going to be your DMs, boy. Godly. Why? Tradition, you're a traditional woman? I am. I'm Everything on the internet is about modern women this, modern women that. So for a woman to come out and say I'm a traditional woman... <laughs> I'm, what's, a, what's a modern woman? <sighs> we'll get to that, but I want you to finish Oh, um... Dang, what was I saying? Oh, so, yeah, I want men to be men again. Like, stand up in your masculinity. And the more that you operate in that, the more comfortable a woman is going to feel operating in her femininity. Bullshit. Not bullshit. Bullshit. No, it's not. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why. I want you to be outside cutting grass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to wash dishes in the house. And I, and I rock with that. But this is, this is why, this is my issue with it. And we hear it a lot where it's like, if men were better men, women would be better women. Mm -hmm. Meaning that femininity is contingent on masculinity. Okay. The problem with that is it doesn't work the other way around. What do you mean? Like, I can't say to you, like, if you were cooking, then I would be cutting the grass. No, you can't. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Why would you even want to say something like that to me? Why? I, I wouldn't personally, but I'm saying if the message is going to catch on mainstream, it has to be consistent. No. Why not? See, because that's the tick for tack stuff. You can't, everything that we do or that I do as a woman, y'all don't have to mirror that or match that. It's all, and that's that Kevin Samuels, that new age, <laughs> I don't want to audition, tap dance. Yeah. That's that mindset. Like, if a woman tells you something, <laughs> you don't have to feel like, what is the, what is the, what, what is something that I can have to say back to her that's going to match that? No, no, that, that's, that's not necessarily where I'm coming from. Where, where I'm coming, coming from, from, though, is like, it makes it harder, if men subscribe to that, it makes it harder to evaluate women. Because I have to, instead of getting to the point where I realize that she's the problem, I have to always assume that I'm the problem. And when I, when I talk to some men, that's what happened. Like the same guy I was talking about who, um, <clears throat> whose wife cheated on him in, in the whole nine. Um, she told him that she felt unfulfilled because they didn't have any kids. So then they had a son and shit got worse, right? So a lot of guys hear the, the story that, well, I would be more X if you were more Y. And it wasn't that he wasn't enough of Y, it's just that she was fucked up and she needed an intervention. She needed to, but, but I'm saying like, sometimes it's not, the things that she's not doing, it's not about what you're not doing. Sometimes. A lot of times, I would say. 
a lot of t- and, and the fact that a woman would intentionally carrot stick her affection means to me that uh, that affection is not natural. Like I've heard women, for instance, say, you know, um, you know, I would cook, for instance, but I've I've never dated a man who made me feel woman enough to cook. And I and then ask, what's the last t- thing you cook? Uh, yeah, that's just a woman that doesn't cook at all, really. And that's my point. That's my point. She doesn't cook at all, and she is assuming that she's just naturally going to be good at it, even though she's, she's never practiced it. And the reason why she's not good at it is because of some guy who didn't make her feel comfortable enough. To no, be she it. just doesn't cook. Exactly. So women like you who are saying, oh, I have all these skills, but you need to make me feel comfortable enough, this, this, and that. My only thing would be, okay, does... Wanting to nurture a man come naturally to you? Because for some women, it doesn't actually come naturally. And they use the fact that a man hasn't whatever to excuse themselves from having acknowledged that, no, this just ain't you. And that's fine if that's not her, because there's probably going to be somebody out there that that works for. But, I mean, me personally, I feel like I'm nurturing. I also like to cook, though. I just don't want to cook for some guy that there's, we don't have like an exclusive relationship type of situation Hmm. because then you're going to get, what do they say? You're, you're giving away. Why buy the cow when you could get the milk for free? I don't like heifers. You don't like heifers? Yeah. (laughs) But no, that's, that's the mind. I think that's why some women that do know how to cook and do like to cook, why they say that. Because they probably did it for some guy and maybe it just didn't work out. So, Yeah, but we can both acknowledge that's a trauma response. It is. Yeah. And and in as much as I think men should work on our trauma responses, women need to work on theirs as well. It is a trauma response because if you really like cooking and eating, like I like to cook, I like to eat. Why wouldn't you want to do that with somebody that you're getting to know or you enjoy being around, you're actually withholding something from them that That's you actually you. like doing too. Exactly. But it's the same reason why y'all, instead of wanting to go on a date or out to eat or something like that, you might want to say, why don't you come over and let's chill? Because you've done it before and it didn't work out. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But so for me, for instance, before even the come over, let's chill, like the coffee date. I need to see if I even like being around you. Before you do the come over and let's yes. chill? Yes. Yeah. I, I need to see if you're crazy. Yeah. I need to see if you smell bad. You know what I'm saying? Like for me personally, because to your point, if you're a woman who actually likes to cook, I think it would happen naturally where like, let's say you and a dude are on the phone. Yo, what you doing? Yeah, I'm just cooking. Boom. Like, oh, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would come up naturally versus if it's something that doesn't actually, that you don't actually do. Yeah, because you'd never be cooking. Yeah. And there's some women that don't like to cook, so. Those ain't the women for the traditional men who are watching this. That's nothing wrong. If she don't know how to cook, I mean, she just, she just might not be culinary. She just might not know how to cook. I saw, um. I actually shared it on the channel. It was funny. Um, this Asian, it was an Asian lady's voice. But um, she said, you know, a lot of women say um, their moms didn't teach them how to cook. You know, and they don't know how to cook because their mom didn't teach them how to cook. She said, but your mom didn't teach you how to suck dick either. But you know but how to suck dick. Found a way to t- <laughs> <laughs> so if you really want to know how to cook, especially nowadays in the information age, the internet, shit, there's step-by-step tutorials on YouTube. That's true. At your big age of 20, whatever, or 30, whatever, you would know how to cook. That's true. So that no longer is an excuse. If a woman at our big age doesn't know how to cook, she just don't want to. And I would assume, me personally, she's just not a nurturing individual. Because cooking, the way to a man's heart, the reason why people say the way to a man's heart is his stomach is because even during sex, nothing is entering the man. Mm, Okay. 
So literally, to enter his man is uh, to enter a man is through his mouth, his stomach. Mm-hmm. So if you establish yourself as where he wants to lay his head, it's gonna be hard for him to like. <sighs> I tell women all the time, listen, you want to be where he wants to come home to, mm-hmm. not where he wants to have fun. That's true. Mm-hmm. Give me some more questions. <laughs>